Hey church, Pastor TD here. For today's devotional, I want to talk about a vision for multiplication. You know, in Acts chapter 8, because the church was persecuted, the first church planters went out and planted churches all beyond Jerusalem where the central church was located. In fact, in Acts chapter 8 verse 1, it says, On that day a great persecution broke out against the church in Jerusalem, and all except the apostles were scattered throughout Judea and Samaria. This is really interesting and really amazing in terms of the implications as we, the church, approach this season because the paid professionals, the guys that hung out directly with Jesus, weren't even the ones that initially planted churches. It was the everyday followers of Jesus. You know, I can't help but think in Jesus' ministry when he talks about bearing much fruit. I mean, you talk to any farmer when it comes to seed bearing, when it comes to plants, when it comes to the way that seeds multiply and work, and we're talking about a massive vision and metaphor and illustration that Jesus gives in terms of fruit. But for us, what would it look like? Because Jesus spent about four years of his life really investing into 11 reproducing disciples that went on to carry the baton and disciple others. So what would this look like for us? What would it look like for us to trust God for maybe a tenth of the vision that Jesus executed while he was on earth and for us to say, we're gonna commit ourselves for three years, we're gonna invest in one reproducing disciple. It's amazing to think about that vision for multiplication and what would happen if we made that commitment every three years. You know what would happen? In 10 years, we would have 10 reproducing disciples. In 20 years, we would have 100 reproducing disciples. In 30 years, we would have 1,000. If God gives us 40 years, we would have 10,000. 50 years, 100,000. 60 years, 1 million reproducing disciples. Many times we think about ministry and we think it's all about a, sit, a stage. Many times we think about there's a distance between us and the paid professionals. But I just wanna encourage you, church, is that the biggest and the largest multiplication movement happened by everyday followers of Jesus. So I just wanna get really practical with you during this season. Maybe for you, what would it look like to be intentional in disciple making? What would it look like for you to find somebody that you really trust and you really look up to when it comes to their faith walk and, and, and give them a call and say, hey, would you intentionally disciple me? And at the same time, what would it look like for you to find somebody in your circle of influence and be intentional with them? Maybe pick up the phone, maybe schedule a Zoom call, do life with them in this season and understand that God wants to use such small ways to expand his massive kingdom vision. I just truly believe that we are everyday missionaries that can engage intentionally in such a small way to see massive kingdom results. Have a great week and be encouraged.